So this problem is going to be a related rates question. So it says the dimension of a rectangle are changing, but the rectangle's height is always twice its width. So let's start right there. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. Here is the width, but we're told the height is always twice the width. It says when the area of the rectangle is 50 inches squared, the area of the rectangle is increasing at a rate of 10 inches squared per second. So the rate of the area, it says it's increasing, so that is a positive 10 inches squared per second. And we're going to look at a moment in time where the area is 50 inches squared. It says determine the rate of change of the perimeter of the rectangle at that instance. So the perimeter of any object is found by adding up the lengths of all of its sides. So these are not formulas that you just necessarily have to memorize. You need to know what a perimeter is. You need to know what a surface area is. And you can construct those formulas by simply looking at your picture. So the perimeter of this rectangle, we have two sides of length W. And we have two sides of length H but I want to try to reduce this down to one variable. So since I know that h is 2w, I can write this formula now as 2 times 2w. And this simplifies to 2w plus 4w, which is 6w. So when I take the derivative of this, dp dt will equal 6 dw dt. Now notice I was not given anything about dw dt. I was given information about area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to build an area equation and see if there's a way I can figure out what dw dt is. So the area of this rectangle is width times height. And once again to get everything in variable w I'm going to replace the height with 2w. So now the area is 2w squared. So if I take the derivative of this function, I get 4w dw dt. So I can solve for dw dt. And I have 1 over 4w dA dt equals dw dt. So all I should have to do here is plug in my dA dt and w. But I don't have a number for w. I can find one for this moment. So going back to this formula of only two variables, I know that at this specific moment in time my area must equal 50. So now I can solve this equation to figure out what w was at that moment. So 25 equals w squared and 5 equals w. So technically it should have been plus or minus 5, but for obvious reasons, we, I think we all agree that negative 5 is not appropriate because this is a width. So now I can come back to this equation and I can solve for dw dt. So 1 over 4 times 5, which is 20, dA dt, which is 50, will give me 5 halves, and this will be in inches per second. So that is my dw dt. Now I can come back and solve for the rate of my perimeter. So dp dt equals 6 times 5 halves inches per second and this is 30 over 2 which is 15 inches per second.
oops, sorry, for those of you screaming at the screen, you caught my mistake. 50 was the area, the rate was 10. So this should be a 10. So 10 divided by 20 is one half. So if I come back up here, I get one half, which makes this a three. So I hope you guys are all happy now. Just caught myself.